Hello everyone, welcome to the drawing board with your host Tobias the Pious and Candy Bear 5947. The drawing board is a creative server and we're standing on top of the thatched roof of my ugly barn. Let's check it out. <laughs> so I found these two villages close to each other. There's the uh, the Acacia Village. There's my ugly barn. <laughs> it's the ugly barn. Let's look at it for a second. You did a really good job on this ugly barn. Oh, it's not as ugly as it possibly could be, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, oh, water troughs. Very authentic. And, and some of the horses see. you tamed if you want to go for a ride. Sometime. Sometime. I made sure to put plenty of iron golems around and a sheep on the roof there, of course. Roof sheep. The iron golems keep the zombies away from my villagers. And over here, you'll see the desert village. Ooh. And, what, what, and what my they? water tower. They, I mean, they were thirsty. They so were thirsty. I gave them water tower. Uh, my plan for this uh, drawing board season is to kind of have these villages do battle somehow. Battle. Like maybe with rocketry, maybe we just, you know, with imagination stuff, but maybe actually build TNT missiles. Uh, the water tower kind of functions. You want to come down here and push the button? Yes. It's a really simple mechanism. But, you know. You push the button, water comes down, get yourself a little drink, push the other button, turn the water off. You gotta save water. This is the desert. You know? That's kind of ugly, but you know. It's a water tower. It functions. <laughs> but you came out here to test out some redstone stuff. I sure did. Let's head over to the redstone testing area, shall we? Right over here. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, well, so you were helping me it. with this little gadget over here earlier. Let's see if it still kind of <laughs> works. It's hit or miss. Okay, let me get it at the right angle so that it's a surprise. So, you know, certain people think that redstone is magical, so I figured we'd do the classic pull the rabbit out of a hat trick, right? Well, there's the hat. Here comes the rabbit. The hat. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> First time go. <laughs> so that may be uh, maybe something that we need to do is replicate, you know, magic tricks with redstone, since redstone is magical. But to help some some people who don't understand better, let's talk a little bit about like. This thing over here, which is the redstone signal strength testing apparatus of science. Of science. Yay! <laughs> so, I'm going to smack this button, and the pistons are going to fire, right? Because that's what pistons yeah. do. We just have a button. This here is the comparator that's going to say, oh, the button got pushed, and it's going to shoot redstone out along here. And as far as it goes, those pistons will fire. And beyond that, the pistons won't fire. Let's see what happens. This is a regular old stone button. Boom. Ooh. And that is the maximum signal strength for buttons and levers. 15? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's right. So I'll replace these, and then we can test different methods of activating redstone signals to show some of the cuter options that you've got. Let me turn it back to day here. All right. Uh, let's start with the what? Oh, you want to start with the item frame? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. pop the cake oh, on there. Cake automatically does it. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. The Obviously. Full, full cake. <laughs> cake. Full cake, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Only 14 out of a full cake. And then the more you eat the cake, I don't know if I can't eat the cake because I'm in creative. Uh, the more you eat the cake, the lower the signal strength gets. So this will get shorter and shorter and shorter until finally there's no more cake. And then oh. no more cake. I was going to test. Whatever. Oh, you want to test okay. it? I, nah, that's fine. I stole your cake. I'm sorry. You stole my cake. Sorry. 
But that could be something funny, you know, like uh, you put cake in a, a conspicuous spot, and as people <laughs> come and eat the cake, like stuff happens. I don't know, fireworks or TNT explosions for your enemies if they're eating your cake without your permission. I think it, it should definitely be fireworks because cake is amazing. <laughs> I'm having frame issues. Are you having frame issues? Is it just me? Frame? Is it a little... you, look, you look stuck. Stuck? Am I moving at all? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's throw some water in here. <laughs> Boom. A full cauldron. Or at least that much water in a cauldron. I, one bucket worth is three. And then I think... Yeah. I just filled up a water bottle. It. It and magic. it went down. Filled up another water bottle. Down to one. And lastly... Bloom. Now the interesting thing to point out about this is that you could have uh, a cauldron, which is put a cauldron down. Well, wait a minute. Hang on. Let me. You need a cauldron. I need a cauldron. Yeah, I need a cauldron, and then put some water in. Do do do. Then let's say you only want a signal strength of one once in a while. Stick a button down there on the sand. There you go. Press that button. The cauldron is one of the few things that will carry a signal strength like that so that it'll activate this comparator without screwing up any of the pistons or anything like that. So if you're trying to build like a compact redstone machine, the cauldron can be uh, I guess a method to transport a redstone signal from one place to another. Whereas if you stick a just like a regular old redstone block on there, it it locks the piston. Or if you put uh -huh. a redstone torch on there, the torch breaks whenever you move it, and redstone dust breaks whenever you move it too. So the cauldron is actually pretty useful sometimes. Very good. Uh, let's item see. Item frame. Here. Yeah, let's test the item frame now. Oop, let me just place random blocks. Oh. And break all the pistons. Come on! <coughs> this is the redstone signal testing machine of science. Stop breaking it. <laughs> Alright, what should we put in there? So, Any old uh, item. It doesn't have to be special. Alright, you, stuck, you stuck an item on there. It's got a signal strength of one. Now I'm just going to hit right click on this and it spins in the item frame. And every time it spins, the signal strength grows. We are up to three now. Do, 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 do. How far are we up to? Six. Seven. Eight. And then and back, down to back, one. back down to one. So there, you don't get as much signal strength out of an item frame as you do out of a button. Remember the button was like 15 or whatever. Right. And you always have some sort of a signal, but then... What I like to use this for is either combination locks or on your base you had your music box, right? As you turn right. the item frame, it would play like the theme song to the X-Files or whatever. <laughs> yeah, a certain theme song, yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you could have, at each one of these stations, you could have offshoots in any direction going to uh, various machines in different locations like that's pretty that special. signal goes that way that signal branches off in this direction see, see, see this is it. where this is where the magic starts because you just did stuff that I don't understand <laughs> well no these didn't take the signal from the back end of it and these could be repeaters to get an even longer signal out to either side but that way so these are just detectors yeah these are comparators Comparators, then, yes. But they only give out what they detect. So they don't shoot off a big long signal. They only... So this one is detecting two, and this one is three? Uh, let's see how far it goes. Yep, this one, you're right. That one is detecting two, so it gives back two. Now this one here is farther down the line, 
and it's uh, probably only going to give out one because it's already at the point where the signal is weakened down to the, the last point. Hmm. And so similarly, I'm going to go over here and spin this thing, and it's getting more signal now, so it's going to shoot out here as well. See what I'm talking about? I see it. Magical. And that's how the magic happens with the item frames. And in your base, of course, all you're looking at is your pretty little wall here where you got your item frames, and people can come up and read the sign. The sign says spin the item frame to have music play and they go and play themselves a little song. <laughs> Coolio. It is Coolio. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, trap chests. You still have that trap chest? I do. Let me grab some TNT. So this is like the oldest trick in the book because trap chests have been around forever. I think as long as TNT, uh, but you stick your, hey, push me in a hole, <laughs> or no, I'm just walking into the hole. Uh, yeah, you bury your TNT in the ground, like so, and okay. you cover it with some, you know, you go into the desert temple, and at the bottom there's the pressure plate. You step on it and blows up all the good boxes and you die far, far away from your bed. Mm -hmm. Sad yes, day. That happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's uh, throw some redstone there and plop the trap chest down next to the redstone. Now, obviously, you want to hide it better than this, but I think when you open the trap chest, it should set off the redstone signal. Okay, and then blow us all to pieces. It's been a while since I set up a trap like this, so I don't actually know that this is going to work. <laughs> What's Trinket. going on? Yeah, my, um, my frames are really struggling right now. Oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. Now, obviously, you'd have to hide it better than that for the real effect. Or just add more TNT, so it's impossible to escape. Either way. <laughs> well, that's okay. Cool. Well, that's about it. Uh, would you like to come see my barn? Sure. Lead the way. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me get there first. Five nine four nine eighty negative two one five. But you can just type my name. What is it? Slash TP? Yep. Slash TP. Tobias the Pious. Candy Bear. I'm not number seven. That's me! <laughs> do I just put a space? I yep. never use the TP command. Space. And then do I have to spell your name right? Yep. Or you can put C and um, tab. And it should show the rest of mine. Oh no. There it is. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, a lovely sunset by the barn. This is the hayloft, which I have, haven't gotten much hay, but it's going to have a lot of hay. And then down here. No, let's go to the other side. Other side. Same block. And my frames are down to like nothing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. <laughs> My recording software is probably playing haywire with my Minecraft. Oh. I can't even fly. <laughs> well, come into the barn. Oh, there's the barn. Yeah. It's a nice big barn. Oh, my frames are recovering a little bit. What is this, Podzol? Or is this, uh... Yeah, Podzol. That's cool. And hey, you've got a bunny. <laughs> I uh, spammed lots of mobs, except for cows, because I wanted to build that special cow shoot. Unfortunately, the redstone is not going to cooperate. Yeah, 
we were testing earlier and uh, dispensers will not name tag animals unfortunate but true it just spits the name tag out at their feet and the animal just looks at you like well what do I do with this mm. it's not food I think dispensers will put saddles and armor on horses and such but that's well, all that's all you can do okay. well next time we'll build a uh, a race horse um, ready Race horse equipping station. Yes. No, I really like your barn. It's all lit up and barn shaped. Barn Much shaped. better than my ugly acacia barn. Oh, well, I didn't want to brag. <laughs> 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 all right, you. Well, okay. that about does it for me. Me too. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see more of the uh, drawing board very soon, I promise. We'll see you next time. Bye.